So this is what I'm talking about when, uh, when I mentioned about taking little sketches out of your travel journal and your hiking journal, your cycling, whatever it happens to be, um, where you've written about where you've been, what the weather was like, who you were with, all of those kinds of things. But taking this little vignette out and translating it into a bookmark format. So some a practical kind of a, approach to your artwork. So here we've got this bookmark format and we're gonna look at rose hips and just how easy it is to do those. So you you've hold your pencil and just kind of hold it steady in one place and just do kind of this swoop down. And there's the stem. Now, you know, I, I don't get too worried about the, the shapes of, of these. You've got, they're kind of a roundish shape to these rose hips. You want to add maybe a little bit of design to it. And here's a, a second little stem. And you've got this rose hip. There, you know, different rose hip, roses come with different color rose hips, different shapes. But you've got this kind of, I think it's called a calyx end. Maybe that's only with tree fruit, but anyways. So you've got this kind of scraggly end to it. Kind of ducks in behind. You want to add maybe some shading to this here, add, add a little bit of dimension to it. So just hatch mark off a little piece. And it's going to give it a little bit of dimension with this. So there's your basic rose hip. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some, just some red here out of your, your paint box and just paint this. And again, I'm not going to be too worried about it. So there's your, your basic outline and shape to the rose hip. As I say, some rose hips are kind of an orangey color. Others are a ready color. So there you go. Um, you might want to take just a tiny little bit of, of green and um, this is wet so I would wait actually till it's dry but we'll go for it here anyways and just give it a little and I'd extend it beyond the pencil mark that you've done here. Um, just at this stage try not to get into that red um, and, and again take it from this end here, watching that you don't get into that red here until it dries, because it'll pull that that red down into the green. But it'll give people an idea that there's a dimension going on here. So there's translating a piece of your your travel journal into a practical piece of art. So your hiking mates, if you do up three or four of these, Always put your initials on them so people know where it came from. So do up three or four of these, and pass them out to your hiking mates, and they are going to absolutely love getting one of the, a copy of one of these. And every time they read their book, they're going to see this bookmark. They're going to remember the hike, who was along with it, what a wonderful time it was, and they'll remember you as well. So uh, and just you know, I, I do it because I, I I think it's just fun. So give it a try. Let me know what you think about this. Um, and we'll try lots more ways of taking your travel journal and sketches and translating them into practical kinds of artwork with, in this case, bookmarks.